right. We're going to take this uh, rain spawn and spawn to bulk, which means to put it into the bulk substrate so it can give us fruit. We're going to start with uh, processing our cocoa coir, which is real simple. Um, I don't go with formulas like how many cups of water to how many bricks because I make it in small batches so I just add hot water and then squeeze the water out which I'll show you how to do. Real simple, no measuring, no nothing. So first step is to take your brick. This is the cheapest way to get it. If you get it already um, loose, it's a lot more expensive. Um, I get these from Amazon at a good price. And they last a long time. Now here's some that I already hydrated and, and prepared the last time and it was left over. I always make a bit more than I need and if I have anything left over I just leave it in a, in a Ziploc and process it with the new ones. And you'll see how in a minute. So first I get a good strong knife and start scraping it. If you don't use a strong knife, it can break here at the handle. And you can get hurt. If it breaks, it can cut you. So make sure you use, even a camping knife would be even better. But I've used this one before, I know it's a good strong knife. And I hold it up here instead of down here, so it shouldn't break. And all you do is just start scraping into a bowl. See? Like that. So, I don't know what that is. And then we add the, the boiling water. So let me just scrape some in here. And I'm not gonna use a lot because of the way we're doing it. Um, I do it at the corners. This is probably enough for what I need, but I'm gonna uh, prepare some more because it's better to have too much than too little see I'm just going this way and I lay it on the bottom you need a good strong metal bowl stainless steel this is gonna be this is gonna be more than enough see I just scraped from the sides Put this back into my ziplock and put it away. We're going to add a, about a teaspoon of gypsum, calcium sulfate hydrate. I got this on Amazon as well. It'll last you forever. It's also cheap. So we take a, about a teaspoon of this, sprinkle it in there. looks like too much I'm gonna do less than a teaspoon I do it by eyeballing it that should be more than enough you don't want too much in there and then so that ended up being like half a teaspoon and I take the one that was left over pour it in there as well so we're not sterilizing we're pasteurizing uh, which will not make this sterile but it's just pouring boiling water in it and letting it sit for a while and that will kill any bacteria or any other spores that may be in this. Now cocoa coir, when they make it in bricks, that's the other good thing about buying it in bricks, is that when they, they use super hot water to compress it into a brick, so that already killed everything. Some people don't even pasteurize it because of that, but I think it's safer to pasteurize it, and that's what I've been doing for a long time. And cocoa coir also uh, is mold and mildew resistant. So, cocoa coir to me is the way to go, and it's simple. You don't have to combine a bunch of stuff in it. I don't, I don't add uh, uh, a bunch of other ingredients like many people do. Keep it simple. Um, I got my pot of water boiling in the back while I'm doing all this. So we're ready to go. As soon as I got my boiled water ready, I'm going to pour it in there. Okay, we got a lid that we're going to cover it after and leave it sitting there with the boiling water. 
like I said, this is not done in sterile conditions. We're just pasteurizing. I wear gloves because when I mix it, it gets in under my fingernails and it's a pain to clean, that's all. Um, you don't really need gloves. All right, um, water's boiling. You may be hearing it in the background. Get a good spoon. Start pouring it in there. Like I said, I, I eyeball it so I don't... Uh, I don't have a recipe that I follow. If you can see, it's still dry. Still got dry clumps. So I start mixing it in, because I don't want it too wet, because then I have to squeeze too much water out of it. It's still kind of dry. Add some more. Try not to go overboard, simply because then you have to squeeze out too much water, it takes longer. But that's the only, there's no re real problem with it. I'm still mixing. Scrape from the bottom, see, so, yeah, I get some dry clumps from the bottom. Oh, don't go. Don't go anywhere. All right, stay in the bowl. See, this is a bit too dry probably gonna burn myself but actually no it's good this is pretty much what you want later I'll show you how much water you have to squeeze out of it to get it to field capacity field capacity only means how humid you want it to imitate what would be outside see this is a bit over field capacity, a bit more humid, which is what I want for it to make sure that it uh, that it kills all the possible bacteria and other things in there, other nasties. So now we cover it and wait. Wait about probably about half an hour. <laughs> 